Good morning. It is February the 20th, 2018. Another holiday is behind us, President's Day. Uh, not much news to speak of. Over the weekend, nor overnight, things are actually pretty quiet. Um, Germany's inflation was higher than expected. Their economic sentiment was better than expected. The EU's economic sentiment was better than expected. Great Britain's industrial order expectations were down. No U.S. or Asian news to speak of. We come into the market with crude higher. The euro and yen down. Treasuries higher. Equities down except for in France and China. So we have mixed markets. We have very little news to drive the markets today. That generally yields trading ranges. So that's what we'll play for today. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have been overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Hope everybody had a great weekend. It was uh, pretty warm here. Yesterday turned cool, and uh, we awakened to sleet, freezing rain, and a little dusting of snow. So at least we got some moisture. That's uh, We desperately need it. Okay, this is auction week. Next week is a shortened week, so we've got the two-year auction today, five tomorrow, and seven on Thursday. Uh, this auction is usually higher, five years usually lower, and the seven years usually sideways to higher. And <clears throat> if treasuries sell, I mean, if equities sell, I believe that uh, we can probably trade it a little higher. Uh, so we'll see if that actually happens. Um, right now, best resistance probably is at 16. With that low volume number at 17, uh, then we've got pretty darn good support down here below 3. So our first buy is 1 to 5. And it might take a, um, a 7 to get in. Don't know. And our second buy is 25 to 29 for buy 2. On the uh, sell side, um, the resistance starts at 16, so we'll make uh, 15 to 19 sell 1. I think we can trade a little higher. Can't run it to the moon, though, because you can't move the paper. Sell 2 will be 23 to 27. This was movie weekend for us. The weather was bad on Friday, so I, we went to see the 15-17 um, to Paris. Really, really a very solid movie. Not overdone. Not, definitely not overacted because they used the guys that actually did the deeds uh, as actors. But it's kind of like a, just a real nice little travelogue. Just quiet. No hype. Um, definitely underacted. And... Um, very, very realistic. When people got hit or shot, they were immediately on the ground. So, But it's not played that way. It's not played for sensationalism. It's just a story of about, a nice story about three fine young men. So it's worth supporting and going to see, in my not-so-humble opinion. Okay, the 30-year, where the action is, uh, we're going to have... Uh, Number one, the first little area that might hold will be 28 to the buck. So our first desired sell is 3 to 7, then 11 to 15. On the buy side, uh, 16 to 20 will be the first little band of support. So 9 to 13 by 1, 29 to 01 by 2. Don't think we can get that far. Three signs outside Ebbing, Missouri. I'll take a look for it. Look at it, Nancy. And I rarely go to movies, so. But I will take a peek at it. 
the weather has to be bad to get me to move in. And the, the conditions were right this weekend in Wichita. Gold is lower. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I figured out now in all the Bitcoins, Ethereum is doing nothing. It's just sector rotation, and uh, Litecoin is getting all the action right now. So, um, when they decide to take all the money out of Litecoin, I don't. Bitcoin's a little bit expensive. Ethereum's there at a thousand bucks a coin, too. So, that one might be out of play. But they'll roll it into like a Ripple or whatever the next hot one has to be. Okay, looking at gold, we've got a very clean break right here at, say, 48. And we've got support down here at, say, 38 or 39. So 38 to 40 is where support is. That's buy one. No news to drive the trading. 34, 36, buy two. On the uh, sell side, 44, 46. 49.51. Let them get stops above 50. Euro is lower. Got to make Mario happy. Uh, one of the, uh, I forget which, I don't know if it was Goldman or could have been JP and was talking about uh, trading targets for the Euro this year are 1 4 0. Hope that's as good as their uh, call for par was for last year. Um, nobody knows, but you got to put something out and give people trading targets, right? <coughs> Basically, 124 is the break in the market. Last rotate up was 70, so 75 to 85, sell 1. 24, 24, 10, sell 2. Uh, 40 to 50, buy 1. 25, buy 2. And the high volume number is 2283 down there. There's your tractor. Crude oil managed to trade higher. The dollar is up. 